Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, three shaded uh, triangles uh, fully confined uh, in this uh, rectangle as you can see in this uh, diagram. And we are talking about uh, this uh, blue triangle, this purple triangle and uh, yellow triangle such that the area of all uh, these uh, shaded triangle is equal. In other words, if the area of this uh, blue triangle is A, then the area of this uh, purple uh, triangle is going to be A and this uh, yellow triangle is going to be A as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, line uh, segment uh, is 8 uh, units, whereas this uh, line segment is uh, X uh, units. And now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, distance uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label uh, the side length of this uh, rectangle. This side, uh, I'm going to call uh, this uh, Y units. And this uh, side length is same as the side length of this uh, blue triangle as well. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. For this uh, blue uh, triangle, this 8 is the base and y is the height. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue triangle is going to be a equals to, we are going to use this uh, formula. So this is going to be a half times our base is 8 times height is y. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue triangle turns out to be 4 times y. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue triangle turns out to be 4 times y. And we know that all these uh, shaded uh, triangles have uh, equal area. And since uh, this blue triangle has area 4y, then the area of this uh, purple uh, triangle is going to be 4y as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, purple uh, triangle now. Its uh, area is 4 times y and its uh, base is uh, x. Let me label uh, this height uh, as uh, h. And let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, triangle formula. Area in our case is uh, 4 times uh, y equal to a half times uh, base in our case is x and height is uh, h. Or we can write uh, x uh, times h divided by 2 equals to 4 y. Let's go ahead and isolate uh, h. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 divided by x on this side and uh, 2 divided by x on this side as well. So therefore we can see this 2 and 2 is gone, x and x is gone. So our height h turns out to be 8 y divided by x. So therefore I'm going to replace this height uh, h by this uh, 8 y divided by x. And now let's make an observation. We know that this whole uh, side length uh, is uh, y. So therefore uh, in this rectangle this side length uh, has got to be y as well. And we know that this uh, height uh, is uh, 8y divided by x. So therefore uh, this uh, length is going to be y minus uh, 8y divided by x. And now we can see that this uh, whole side length uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, 8 uh, plus uh, x. So therefore uh, this uh, side length of the rectangle is going to be x uh, plus 8 uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle whose base is x plus 8 and whose uh, height is uh, y minus 8y divided by x. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Here's the area. We are going to fill in the blanks. So area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be a half times our base is x plus 8 times our height is y minus 8y divided by x. So thus the area of this uh, yellow triangle turns out to be this one. And we know that the area of this uh, yellow triangle is equal to the area of this uh, blue triangle. This is our original assumption. 
So therefore, let me go ahead and equate them. I'm going to put down a half uh, times uh, x plus uh, 8 uh, times uh, y minus 8 uh, y divided by x equals to the area of the blue triangle is uh, 4 times y. Now let's go ahead and uh, remove this fraction 2 by multiplying 2 on uh, both uh, sides. So this uh, 1 over 2 and 2 is gone. So we ended up with x uh, plus 8 uh, times uh, y minus 8y uh, divided by x equals to 8 uh, times y. And here in this next step I have rearranged these uh, terms. And now we can see y is in common over here. So therefore I can uh, factor out y and this I am left with uh, 1 minus uh, 8 divided by x times uh, x plus uh, 8 equals to 8 times y. And now let's divide both sides by y. This y and y is gone. Here y and y is gone as well. So we ended up with uh, 1 minus uh, 8 divided by x times x plus 8 equals to simply 8. And now we are going to multiply by x on both sides. So let's go ahead and distribute. So we are going to get x minus 8 times x plus 8 is going to be 8x. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b times a plus b equals to a square minus b square. We are going to apply it on the left hand side. So the left hand side factors are going to give us uh, x square minus 8 square is 64 equals to 8x. And now let's go ahead and move this 8x uh, on the left hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step we are ended up with x square minus 8x minus 64 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by the quadratic uh, formula. And here's our quadratic uh, formula that we will be using. And here in our case our coefficient a is uh, 1 b is uh, negative 8 and uh, c is negative uh, 64. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula x uh, equals to minus uh, and b is uh, negative 8 plus or minus uh, the square root of uh, negative 8 uh, whole square minus 4 times a is uh, 1 c is uh, negative uh, 64 all over 2 times uh, 1. And here are uh, these uh, next uh, steps. I have simplified uh, it all the way to this one. It turns out to be x equal to 4 plus or minus 4 times uh, square root of uh, 5. And since uh, we are dealing with the distance x, so we are going to keep this uh, positive sign only. So therefore our x value simply turns out to be 4 plus uh, 4 times the square root of uh, 5 uh, units. So thus our x value turns out to be 4 plus 4 times the square root of 5 uh, units and that is approximately equal to 12.94 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.